Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Married to Southern Cooking. I am Lucretia Jackson and my husband. Chris. <laughs> that does not only say Chris. Chef Chris. Chef Chris, okay. I'm practicing uh, every day. I'm gonna practice good. tonight too. <laughs> so tonight we have a special treat for you guys. Yep. Um, we're gonna make a peach flambe. That's right, another dessert. Yeah, <laughs> we, we like just love dessert. dessert around here, so. I know, let's yeah. do it. So what's up, you uh, wanna tell me about that? Yeah, sure. Um, we actually, I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys can be able to see the ingredients that we have to actually start the flambe, okay? Yep, so we're gonna make a dessert and then set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really what it is. Make, make something in the skillet and set it on fire and pour it over something sweet. Right. Yeah, basically that's what it is. All right. So, uh, let me turn the camera around. Hi everybody, I meant to say hello. Uh, turn around, baby. Hit it. Yeah. Okay. All right, so here we have, um, we have some chopped pecans. We have some milk chocolate, Lentz chocolate right here. And we have some sugar. And we also have some Myers rum. That's what's going to set it on fire. Okay, and we also have um, a can of peaches that are drained. Also, we have some butter here. Um, and we also have some regular croissants uh, that's in the can. Mm -hmm. We just kind of squared them off a little bit. Okay? We also have our skillet here. We, are, uh, we have our butter. First of all, um, we're going to caramelize our sugar. Yep. Okay. Let's do it. So Chris is gonna get started, and um, we're gonna have some conversation going on here, so um, we can tell y'all exactly how to make it. Okay. You ready, baby? Sure. All right. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. All so right. we'll start. Get our butter nice and hot. Probably cut it on like medium high three quarters high and uh, get that started. So when we start our flambe, we want to melt the butter. That's about um, a quarter cup of butter. And then from the butter, we're gonna add our sugar. And I believe this is um, a quarter cup of sugar. Yes. Okay? All right. And then once we do that, we're gonna add our fruit. So the ah. fruit is what we're actually cooking first so that it gets nice and flavorful and done. So once this is melted, we're going to cook it at a high temperature. And we want to listen for that sizzle. We're cooking it in a cast iron skillet. And uh, so when we first researched this recipe, we knew that we could do it. But we didn't know that there are certain cooking conditions that you need. And one of those is the, the pan. So it recommends a cast iron or what was the other thing? Uh, stainless steel. Copper. Or copper. Yeah. So copper, stainless steel, or uh, cast iron. Because non-stick skillets have a coating, and the coating um, is uh, a bad accelerant, and I think it causes some kind of damage to your lungs because it turns it, the coating The chemical, coating. yeah. Okay, so I guess it's kind of the effect when you uh, barbecue and drippings drip on the, um, the, uh, the meat make smoke and then that's uh well in that case it's a carcinogen but anyway um the butter is melting so i want to get that nice and hot you see the sizzle you hear the sizzle so when that starts to uh get really uh hot and sizzle a lot more then um, we're ready to add our peaches so we've got enough peaches to yield three of our chocolate croissants so when you saw the dough, peaches are gonna go in the dough. It's baked on 375 for about 10 to 12 minutes, stuffed with chocolate, and we're gonna show you how that process works, okay? So my butter is getting ready, and um, it's almost there. I'm turn the heat up just a little bit. I know you're ready to see this work. So sugar first, right, babe? Yes. All right? Uh-huh. And we'll do the sugar first. What was that called, caramelized? Caramelized, right. right. Now, if you have, you know, eaten already, and uh, you just want to make you a drink, you know, you got your Myers rum over here. <laughs> so, we also found out that you can't use beer 
or liquor because it doesn't have a higher concentration of alcohol. So um, a lot of the uh, chefs like Gordon Ramsay, um, who else was that? Uh, Emeril Lagasse, they recommended rum or whiskey or even brandy. Brandy was seen a lot too in a lot of the blogs that we read. Because we, we, we do some research on the recipe so we can put our own spin on it. You can add what you want. So I can see my butter is browning, so I'm going to add my sugar. Okay. Let it get brown. Give it a little stir with my spoon. Okay. All right. I hear it going a little bit more. I'm going to turn it down just a little bit. Now I'm going to add my canned peaches. Not yet, baby. A little Not, bit more? Yeah, brown it just a little bit more. A little bit more. Baby said brown a little bit more. We can do it. Teamwork makes the dream work. That's how you make it with love. You got to <laughs> listen. Listen to each other. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> That's how you make it with love. You got to listen. <laughs> you know? Sometimes you might be like, I, I know what I'm doing. Or, um, you know, I got it. No, you just want it together. Got a coordinate. <laughs> you should say coordinate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, I think we're ready. Okay. Right, we got a nice and brown. All right. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Turn heat. it down just a little bit, love. Yeah, just a little bit, yeah. Just to cook it. Ready? Peaches mm -hmm. go in. Woo! I like to hear that. Am I good? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, would you recommend making the um okay, clean as we go? Oh, that's looking good. That sounds good too. So about two minutes. Let those cook. Now, I tell you what, this won't be long, right? Right. So why don't we do this? Why don't we do this? While this is cooking, why don't we show them what we're going to stuff? Okay? okay. How many? We got some viewers out there? Are they looking at uh, us? We right? have like 14 people that's on with us 14? tonight. Okay. Yeah, so we'll take that. Here's what we're going to do with the croissants. Okay? These are canned croissants, Pillsbury, roll out. And normally with the croissants, you know, they're cut at a diagonal, so it'll give you a, uh, a triangle. Put them together, kind of gives you a square, but it's a little bit of a rectangle. So I want to show you here. Uh, I got about another minute. I want to show you here how I stuff these. So all that I did was place chocolate in the center. Don't put too many, baby. Not too many. Mm -mm. About three. Yeah, that's okay. good. And I'm just gonna. Let me see how how you fold it. You know, I'm gonna make me a pocket like that. I just thought of that. I thought that'd be nice of you. Playful, you know? What you think, babe? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, and you can make these little, you know, croissant purses or whatever if you want. If it's whatever shape you want to do. You can twist it. You can tie it. You can kind of do it any way you want. But for our purposes, I'm going to... Just make the little purse, kind of like a little wonton, you know? Stuffed. Now, that that's done, I'm gonna make sure that I tend to my peaches. Okay. Oh yeah, now those look really that good. That looks good. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Let them cook two minutes. Like baby said, not too high. Like, I'm sorry, like like Chef Lucretia said. <laughs> I mean, we're, we're, we're a professional show. And Lucretia approves this message. Hallelujah. <laughs> okay. So it's coming up on the two minute mark on those peaches. Let those cook and caramelize with that sugar. One of the same processes that you use when you actually are caramelizing onions. The sugar is what creates that texture. And um, now I think we're ready to actually Get ready to flambe this and pour it over 
our finished product. So what we're gonna do is these are baked at 375, the croissants are baked at 375 for about 12 minutes or until brown. The chocolate should melt on the inside and once we flambe this we're gonna show you that um, this is probably gonna be true. And then we'll go from there. All right, baby, you ready to do this? Yep, I'm ready. Right. So, take the rum. Are you gonna do it over the stove? I'm gonna move to the side. Okay, okay, that's better. Just in case. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, he poured, remove from heat. Remove from heat. Remove from heat. Be very careful of, because you know it springs up. It's about a shot or two of rum. Kind of move that. Oh, I can smell it. So when you can smell the liquor is burning off, it's actually called a reduction, removing alcohol. The reduction, and then. We need to put back on the heat, the flame, because we will now tilt this and ignite it. Be very careful, Chris. Can you get it to light? Well, we got a technical malfunction. There it goes. Did it set it off like we wanted mm -mm. to? No, but not yet. I see a little flame. It's not, I, I want a big flame. <laughs> what did I do with that for a big flame? I don't know what you did. I think you need to leave it on the stove for just a little bit more and then oh, let and then cook. ignite it, yes. Let it cook a little more. Yes. Okay. Now, this flame. Light as you go. That's the that's what being a proud cook is about. Okay, maybe I didn't. Cook is about trial and error, but you know what? These peaches look good. These peaches look good. What do you mm. think? I told you they did. How am I doing? Do I look nervous? No, you don't look nervous at good? all. Are you nervous? No, I'm comfortable. Baby. Okay. You know, we've been we've been cooking a lot here lately. Okay. So don't forget, if you're watching us right now, share during this live. Talk to us, let us know what you will put this with. Um, not only a pastry, um, a turnover, cake, waffle. What else did we see from baby? But oh, fruit choices. Yes. We I think this dish traditionally started out as a bananas foster. Okay, that's a flambe. But over the years, you know, other fruits are used, peaches, strawberries, banana. Um, I've seen blueberries used. Okay, you think I should flambe in there? Try it now. Okay, so I'm going to, first I'm going to put the top on this right here so we don't have no aspirin. Mm-mm. <laughs> Tilt. You cannot get that thing to light for nothing tonight. <laughs> It won't light. Should we just imagine it lit? No, we don't need to imagine anything. <laughs> is is a safety thing on there? Oh no, the light. See the, the light's coming up. Do you need another light? Should I Maybe so. Twenty-two. <laughs> it the miracle of life. <laughs> hey, it lit that time up. Huh? I knew it would. All right. Now, you want to show them what, what we're gonna do with it? Let that let that sit just a little bit more on the um. So, 
on, on some fire. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> That's a fire. What y'all know about that? Okay, babe. Yeah, need to. Shoot. Let it cook on down a little bit. Yeah, let it cook more down reduction. just a little more. Yeah. How am I doing, babe? You doing great. Just keep it up. You think we're gonna get people to try it? Give us a wave if you think you'll try it. <laughs> Give us a wave. <laughs> Give us a wave. I don't care if it's a stay in wave. Just give us a wave. You have a couple of thumbs up. You got a couple of thumbs up? Yeah. So peach cobbler. You're probably like, okay, I can do that with peach cobbler. I can put my peaches, put in the pot. This is a little bit, it's a group exercise. It's more exciting. I mean, you can, I mean, who, who says, well, what are you cooking tonight? I'm going to make a flambe. Oh, shoot. Sounds better than, you know, some regular stuff. I'm just going to make me old Pillsbury cake with some ice cream and some chocolate icing. I'm making a flambe. <laughs> I know about that. Say it with me. Flambe. Flambe. Mm -hmm. That sounds pretty good when you say that. Say it again, baby. Flambe. Okay. Now, if y'all see get along you guys with out there watching, shoot, y'all go over to your girl house. Man, you know, once COVID over, it's time for, uh, it's still cuddle season. You still wrap yourself up. <laughs> your, 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 uh, your flame is like, what you gonna cook for me for dessert? I'm just going to do this flambe real quick. You got some croissants and maybe some Hershey's chocolate you got from the Sunnies at the corner store or Q-Mart or something. Q-Mart, Chris. You gonna use they don't have Q-Marts anymore, cobbler. baby. I saw one. Where? Shoot, I'm going to curve you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? I think that looks good. Yes, okay, okay. Let, me, let me look at it. That looks pretty good, baby. Yes, that okay. Good. Okay. You going to add so. in your nuts? Yes. Did you I, forget? I did. So we got the nuts. See, that's why I got baby here to remind me. So we got the pecans. I didn't mean to say nuts, y'all. I meant to say pecans. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher. She said nuts. Chris. <laughs> you on the live, baby. You don't supposed to say that. I, I, know. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. It's, it's hard not to have a few antics. Now that looks good. Man, that looks good. That looks good, baby. What y'all think? Y'all gonna let us know what y'all think? Or you just gonna stay silent? We got any people watching us then? Mm -hmm. 19 people, it's night. on it's and off. It's a school night. It's still a school night. Is it a school night, baby? It's still a school night. It is still a school night. So, so that we'll have a little bit more when we get ready, I want to actually place these on the cookie sheet, showing that one more time. This is stuffed for some. With, um, Milk chocolate lint. Milk chocolate lint? Yeah. Turn my pan just a little bit. Am I practicing safe uh, cooking guidelines? I think you're doing pretty good, you're doing babe. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. Even the distributor, they won't rise a whole lot. They'll puff, but they won't bump in each other. What right. do you have your oven on? Oh, 375 for okay. about 12 minutes. Set your I'm timer? Start my timer on the microwave here. Good. Phone or the little bell timer, so they get they all sound the same. <laughs> you, know, you know you got the, the, the of white course timer. we will share the recipe. You know you got that white timer. That's the old school. That old school. You know you got that. You got that timer, boy. You cook a lot. When you see people down in the kitchen, you know they cook a lot. But that timer don't make no mistakes. It's like Jesus. <laughs> Alright, we good? Yeah, I think we're good. That's pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. What should I do? To, oh, I should have added the nuts earlier, maybe. Maybe so. Maybe. I would think so. But other than that, what other, what, what other things would, would we improve on? Because here's the thing. We're doing a cooking um, channel because we like to cook and we like good food. But also we like to make things ourselves and be creative. So you learn by doing, you know. The relatives we both grew up with. Growing up, coming to the kitchen, smelling pinto beans and cornbread and neck bones, black eyed peas, field peas, purple hole peas, collard greens, neck bones, turnip greens, cabbage sprouts, broccoli and cheese. You know, I'm just saying. So, you want to bring some of that back. All that wasn't done without a pinch of this, pinch of that being left out or added over the years. 
changing recipes. So, just like my fire wouldn't light tonight, that's okay. We recovered because we lit that joke on fire. <laughs> Alright, how am I looking, babe? Let me see. Um, I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take this over to the finished product. And we're going to top it. So there's the chocolate croissant. Okay, do you want to, should we cut it to see if how, how well we did? That's you okay. Yeah, well, why don't you cut it after you put after. that on it? Yeah, okay. I think so. Right. So here's my peach flambe topping. This is so much fun to be with our... Thank you, audience. Oh, man, the pecans look great. I'm glad you suggested that. So I think you need a little more, little more of this uh, pot liquor. Yeah, just put it all on there, babe. Because you don't want it to be dry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I know, but it's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm Gotta fix your plate a little bit. Okay. I'm pay attention to the, to the serving. And keep this glow. I feel like I'm fighting crime. How we looking? You good? Mm hmm Yeah, you looking mm -hmm. dainty. Yes. Dainty, know, that's the peach flambe. Yeah. So there that it is. is. The peach flambe. Okay, guys. Um, Chris, you need a fork. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> mm hmm And it smells good too. It's like it's still kind of sizzling a little bit. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, here. Yeah. Mm. I'll let you taste and then I'll taste. Okay? Okay, I'm gonna cut it like the sun. Yeah. See? Let's see. It did melt. Y'all see that? Melted chocolate croissant. Somebody said, well, where's the ice cream? <laughs> ice cream is optional. We do have it. Um, it'll probably be really good with that, so, you know. Uh, at some point, we'll probably put on ice cream with it. We just wanted to go with it this way for right now. Um, the simplified version, if you want to uh, have one a la mode, then I would recommend homemade vanilla. You know, it looks nice. Let's try it. Mm. Is that good, babe? Mm hmm It's good. You want to try it? Absolutely. You know I don't turn down no dessert. Absolutely. Right there. Okay. We're gonna switch places on this. Yeah. That's good. The play by play. Mm -hmm. Chef Lucretia tears into the creation. She looks at it, pauses for one brief second, analyzes the caramelization of the peaches and the pecan. What's a marriage of flavor? And now, as she poises and up into the hatch, she says, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. She said, yes. Mm -hmm. Touchdown. And now, the thumbs up. That glaze is real good. No flag on the play. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there any penalties? <laughs> Are there any penalties? Is there a peach penalty? No peach penalty. Very good. Very good. Very good. And the pecans are good too. What's up, Elgin? I see you, boy. What's up, homeboy? Smiling, looking like Elgin. Boy, you hadn't changed a bit. Mm -hmm. Now, has she exceeded her violation limit? She's going for a third cut. This is not a third, baby. This is the second <laughs> cut. Now, you should stop. Uh, mm. That's good, though. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let me taste very, another very piece. Good. Let me taste another piece of that. Feed me, baby, tonight. <laughs> Y'all see, he got Feed me, baby, Chris, tonight. You have to go to bed with me tonight. I know it. Good night, Lucretia. Christopher. Don't do that. Okay, What's up, Elgin? Nothing much, brother. Down here in the H. Come see the H when it's over.
Mm. 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 Hey. Okay. So, Peach. Back on you? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. Peach, pecan, the sugar for caramelization. Run for the flambe. And as you saw, what if I don't add enough rum? It won't light. <laughs> it won't light, as I so rudely found out. But that worked out okay. We, we, I mean, cooking things is about adjusting. So, adjusting. And for you educators out there, differentiation. <laughs> <laughs> got remote learning is still putting y'all on that taxonomy. Let me see what we got, baby. Wait, look, y'all, look. She's still eating. She just, she ain't said a word. She never said a mumbling word. She just quivered in her skin and ate all the peaches. Is, is it gone, y'all? That looks good, y'all. I mean, that, that really looks good. Yeah, ice cream. Um, a few a few things that I would add. We could do cinnamon. Yep. And the sugar. Yep. Um, but you don't need it. I'm, I mean, it's sweet enough. It's sweet enough. Yeah. What else? Something that we learned. Orange zest. Yeah. It's also okay. A really good. Tell them uh, how addition. to um, uh, uh, get orange zest. Hmm. Here you go. Mm. Okay. Isn't that good, baby? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. So. <clears throat> Other ingredients I mentioned. Let me recap for those that are like reaching in the cabinet right now to go make it. So, croissants. Just the Pillsbury croissant. For Pillsbury That's croissant. It. And the one thing that we liked about it is um, they're already shaped. They're in a square. Okay, you don't have that. You use biscuits. I can see that. You can create little chocolate uh, pouches and um, kind of uh, fork the ends to create a pattern. Okay. Uh, so chocolate is just your, uh, I think it was 45% milk chocolate that we used inside of that. We baked it for, get some ice cream. We baked it for um, 12 minutes on 375. It melted the chocolate. Um, I would say in hindsight, just, you know, leave the chocolate out room temp. Um, you can like put it, on a, a warm surface for a few minutes just to soften it a little bit. Um, Tell about how they're, they're waving at you, sweetheart. Oh, hi, people. I know. <laughs> okay, so we uh, set that aside or put that in the oven so you can bake that and let it slightly cool on a cooling rack. Um, recipe is a fourth cup of sugar, about a shot or two of rum, and that could be on an experimental basis because I probably add a little more. Liquor. Yeah, rum, um, whiskey, brandy, mm -hmm. things like that that are highly flammable. Right. I don't know about, you know, white lightning or nothing, but <laughs> I'm just, I, I'll be like, <laughs> you burn your, I got hair all down on my face, so I burn every bit of that off. <laughs> um, so you're cooking the peaches pretty... Um, aggressively in the sugar and pecan. Also, you can use orange zest. Of course, orange zest is grated outside of an orange rind. Is it an orange rind? Yeah. Called an orange rind? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay, I think. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, you can add that as well. Um, there's your citrus in that if you, if you want to have that. And just cook until it's brown. I mean, it, it's a nice golden color. Um, I think that's what I like most about this because with the rum reduction, it seemed like you get a, a real good contrast of flavor. So you got the uh, sweet, kind of the nutty taste of the pecan, and then that uh, chocolate is like really, really good. So we want to thank you all for joining us. Thank if you, you so try much. it, post it, you know, right. let us see it. Right. Um, I don't think we had a solid picture of the thing, did we? Of we the didn't even take a picture. We didn't take a picture. We just ate it. All right. Well, we'll so, take that. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll do another. One. We'll do another. One. What you have to do is like freeze your frame, and then take a um, screenshot. Right. <laughs> and then um, crop it. You know all about that, don't you? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anything else? We good? Mm -mm. And that was what mm -hmm. for preparation to finish. Maybe 15, 20 15, minutes. 15, 20 minutes? Yeah. It's not yeah. bad. I mean, it's not bad. And 
it is quarantine ready. Why? Most of us have canned fruit or fresh fruit. Exactly. We have some kind of um, nut. We use pecan, but I mean, don't walnuts. say nuts. What would you say? Sh shell. I don't know. <laughs> you supposed to say pecans. Pecan. Baby. I'm sorry. A pecan. Okay. We use pecan. Uh, walnuts. I can see walnuts on that. She said, could you do it with apples? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Any fruit. Yeah. Apple, banana, peaches, yeah. strawberries. Um, we saw a flambe berries, with strawberries. Blueberries. Yeah, berries are, are good for Yeah, yeah. Um, I think I think peaches are used because of the um, they're able to withstand heat and not cook as rapidly. Uh, because I think if you know we use something different, um, it would probably take over. Oh, okay. Now here are other. Here's our other croissant pockets, chocolate croissant. And you can see where it's melted on there, you know? So they, they look good. Now, bring them over there, baby. So what I did is uh, brush those with butter, sweet pea. You want to brush those oh, with butter absolutely. because what we did is once they come out, we just kind of want to brush it with a little melted butter. Well, it's not really melted because it... Will you cut the timer off? There we go. And then we'll make some more for the family, I guess, if they want. But it's, I mean, it'd be a nice treat. I know I'm gonna eat one because the one I had that we fixed a minute ago is eating probably. She didn't say nothing. Yeah, that's mine. So hey, I will take full responsibility of that one. Oh, what's up, Tony? Got matching beard. That's what's up. Nothing like that beard clean. I mean, beard on the face, like ha facial hair. Well, what's up, Zorg Beard? If you're watching, since you know, I'm gonna make you feel unloved, you know. 92, <laughs> 92, stand up, class of 92. Class Every time 92 I see, where? Humboldt High. Oh, okay. What do you think? So, so you're a Viking, so, okay. What do you, what do you think I'm forgot? I thought you were a cougar. Me, remember me from school? I thought you were a cougar. A cougar? How I become a cougar? I, I don't know. I might got adopted, but I'm in there, but I, I'm a rich, I originate, I originate from Humboldt. Oh, okay. Well, Humboldt stand up then. So we got that? They look good. Okay. That's good. All right. So, do we need to prep another one, or you think we good? Huh? That's left up to you. Now, you I'm to. wondering about this because what we actually we could actually like keep that over low heat, and I would say um, if someone wanted to make it a little juicier, um, you know what? Add back in some of the juice from that you use from the peaches because these are canned peaches. So, if you want to add a little bit more of that juice in there, um, I think that would accelerate the cooking. And maybe just a little more butter. Yeah. Just to kind of um, yeah, make it a little bit cool. more wet. That's a little hot. Is it hot? Be careful. Mm -hmm. that, you know, that iron transfers. Yeah. So remember, the skillet is the thing. No nonstick surface. No nonstick coating. Right. You want to do um, the liquor. iron. The liquor. Dark liquor. You yeah. I think yeah. the dark the dark. Yeah. yeah. It seems like it would add more texture to it. More flavor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now we need to... Tell our audience about how to take care of your um, your dishes, okay. um, like your pots and pans. Yeah, because so. we cook as we go, but um, also there's care that you need. One of the big things, everything that we cooked on uh, is uh, dishwasher safe. Right. But one of the things that uh, we notice with pan surface, things that are sometimes coated or even with the, um, as the old folks used to say, wrought iron. Uh, but... <laughs> <laughs> cast iron, <laughs> cast iron um, is just wiped out with uh, plain water. Yeah, just and a it towel. doesn't matter what you cook yeah. in it. Do not go and take the SOS pad and scrub, scrub, yeah. scrub, or uh, take your dishwashing liquid and scrub around it because it messes up the coating on the um, on the skillet. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. So, um, <clears throat> just want to get that in because some people they buy very expensive cookware and they mess them up like that. So, yeah. we don't want you to have to make the same mistakes that we did because we had to learn as we went too. Yeah. So, we definitely appreciate everybody for watching. Mm -hmm. On tonight is actually nine o'clock. Oh my goodness! So we can have this and... just rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. Until so. until next time. <laughs> Cook with love. See you guys later. Have a nice night. Peace. Bye.